Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so you know what time it is. It is the Should You Summon for Kang Do and Toshiroa Summon video. And uh, we're going to be going over the banner, the fillers, the kits. Should you summon, should you not? Let me know down below if you are going to be summoning. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, quickly hop in. Now, I will say this no matter what anybody says, I think their art is insane. I love their art. Their visuals all look very good. Their soul bombs are a bit quick, but I think that's like the only okay thing like kind of unfortunate that their soul bombs are a bit quick uh but other than that i think their visuals are outstanding i love the toshiro sa2 one thing though is i'm confused because when i'm looking at the toshiro strong attacks and somebody even mentioned it for the soul bomb they use that on basby not kang do because the sa2 is the one where him and rangiku use their attacks she uses her mist and then toshiro freezes it and it creates that little ice wall that basby couldn't like melt so it's kind of weird that we got Kang Do instead of Basby, or at least like we didn't get Basby on the banner or a Rangiku on the banner, you know? Like I get that it's like the only characters that could have fit with Kang Do, Toshiro and Rangiku. It's it's just kind of weird that it's the visuals for the fight that they use against Basby. I'm pretty sure. Now maybe I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that's what happened. But either way, other than that. They look cool. They look cool. Uh, but the banner is here from the 29th to the 15th. So if you really want to, you could at least wait till we see what mid-month is. Because we should get news. Oh, I would say the 13th or 14th. If I had to guess for mid-month news. Uh, but yeah, let's just hop on into the kits. The main two and then we'll go over the banner. And there is pity, by the way, at step 25. So pretty nice. Uh, for the... Uh, Kang Do or Sang Do apparently is how it's pronounced. That's what the guy in the trailer said. Sang Do uh, attack type is a melee strong attack. Uh, all attacks except his SA2 have freeze. His strong attack 2 does have a barrier. So even though it's a barrier, it doesn't matter since he's a melee character. Because I believe if it's a ranged character and they have a melee, I want or a barrier, I believe it counts as a melee. Or maybe barrier is the only one that doesn't. I can never remember. Either way, new soul trait, which is actually a pretty cool soul trait. Um, basically, if you have a character with Frenzy plus 2 or higher and an increased status ailment chance, it's going to be very good because you should always be proccing your spiritual pressure boost. Uh, so like a character like Saiyan Du, 8th uh, anniversary Ichigo. So whenever he procs uh, you know, his weakening or drain on the Ichigo, obviously he's not a speed character, but I'm just saying like if we get a future link like this, that's mainly what it'd be used for. I feel like Unahan would also be an exceptional character for that. Maybe a character with Vortex. So, uh, Okiora, he gets it fairly often whenever I use him. The speed Okiora. So, pretty good link. Uh, you just have to make sure that you put on a character that can proc the SP boost very consistently. Otherwise, it's like you might as well just use full stamina damage, I would assume. Uh, he's a Quincy and Storm Raider, and he is a Hollow Killer. Also, do note that he is going to be one of the best characters for the Limit Break request, which I'll probably be having a video uh, tomorrow on that. So, keep that in mind. Uh, his Soul Trait, we already went over that. And then his Gauge effect is a Sprinter plus 2 and a Frenzy plus 1. Really weird that they gave him Sprinter on his Gauge. Wait, so he's going to have Sprinter plus 3. I just realized that. <laughs> that could be actually kind of fun. That could be actually pretty fun. Um, only downside, realistically, uh, to this character, in my opinion, is the... Uh, I'll go over that actually at the end. I haven't even shown all the skills. So he has a, he has an 8 skill of Sprinter plus 1, Havoc plus 20, and Poison Duration minus 100%. I assume that that's what's on the field for the Melee Hollow Week. I would have to imagine. If not, why would they give him Poison? Uh, attainable skills. He has a Berserker value of 50%. Damage to Frozen Enemies plus 40%. Uh, strong Attack Recharge Time minus 12%. Spiritual Pressure Boost plus 80%, which stacks with the 40% up above, so he'll have 120% SP boost. Uh, gauge Effect. Strong Attack Recharge minus 30%. And at the start of gate or start of battle, he gets a gauge of 70%. So you're going to get it out very quick. And with the Gauge Rampage abilities, where every single time you get a kill, you build up your gauge, which is very very nice and then he has the increased status element chance against power attribute enemies he has a multi-barrier plus two which i think is like the only skill that i think should have not been in here it's like whatever multi-barrier why like i guess it's because it's his shrift you know the the iron or whatever but it's like it just feels so random and out of place uh, he has marauder and then frenzy plus two so as I'll say, I think the only thing wrong with this kit is the fact that he has a barrier SA2 and not just a regular SA2 uh, where he can inflict freeze. And then he just doesn't have, you know, complete status immunity or any way to heal, if I'm not mistaken, looking at his kit. So if he takes damage, he's basically just 
going to be low on HP, so maybe you'll give him uh, uh, recovery from each room or something like that, or maybe a link that does that. I don't really know. You, you, you would probably give him something like that, so that way he can uh, make sure you don't get hit, and then, I don't know, you can do that. If he gets hit, then, you know, you can get back up to full HP, or you just don't get hit and you're good at the game. Uh, so, yeah, very exceptional character, just like a few small tweaks. But I, I, I think he is probably going to be one of the best characters in the entire game. Possibly even the best, because his strong attack kit is genuinely very good. Uh, I believe people have been saying that he basically has Retsu Unahana's strong attack kit, which is absurd. Insane. Uh, so, yeah. Either way, very broken character. If you don't have a good speed character, definitely worth summoning for him. It, it, it's so weird, because there's only two characters, and I'm not going to lie, this Toshiro is an L. I don't care for him. He's a GQ character and a Captain GQ character at the very least. You don't need a melee character in Captain GQ, really. And it's melee. It's not like it's ranged uh, ranged Captain Week, which is a bit more uh, lackluster compared to the melee week. Uh, so, And then you're basically only summoning for Kangdu. So it's like, do you summon on his individual? Uh, which actually has better filler as well, the Kangdu filler. Uh, so I, I I don't know. It's a bit tricky. I honestly think this is a skippable banner. I'm not gonna lie. If you don't have a good t uh, speed character, go for his individual. I'm not gonna lie. Go for the Kangdu individual. I'll, I'm just gonna say that right now. I I just don't think Toshiro is worth summoning for. Like yeah, he looks like he's good, but he looks like he's a GQ character, which I'll go over. Uh, so he has Captain Killer. Uh, he's a melee normal attack damage character. All his attacks, except for his SA2, have freeze. His strong attack 2 is a boost. Uh, new soul trait, normal attack damage, inflicted at full stamina, plus 40%, which he should stay at full stamina fairly easily. And then he has a new skill, flurry plus 1 or plus 2 in guild quest. I think they could have just given him flurry plus 2, I'm not going to lie, because then you could definitely use him in other sorts of content. Uh, so, yep, Captain Killer. Went over his soul trade already, and his innate skill, he has sprinter plus one, and he has dodge story per damage plus 50%. He has marauder, attainable skills, a long reach plus 20%, which I believe is just his na his nad string, has 20% more range. Uh, he has enhancer, ba start barrier plus 15, and he has the booster ability, so he'll be getting 44% boost on his SA2 whenever he does that, so that's very, very nice, and it lasts longer because of the enhancer. Uh, he has the melee damage plus 10%, plus 30% in GQ. That's why he's mainly going to be a GQ character. Uh, Bruiser plus 50%, Poise, and then Paralysis Duration minus 100%, and then Killer Effect plus 30 or plus 50 in GQ, and then Flurry plus 1 or plus 2 in GQ. So as you can see, a very GQ-oriented character, and it's melee captain, so it's like, it's whatever. Really unfortunate that he couldn't have been like a SP character or something along those lines. Like, I get GQ characters are needed. But the fact that Kang Do is the only one really we're summoning for in any imaginable way, I just think it would be better summoning for his individual or just skipping him in general like I'm going to be doing because I'm skipping this banner entirely. I don't need it because Kang Do, wh where am I going to use him? He, GQ, sure. The Limit Breaker, sure. That's one month. That's just a little bit of transcendence points I might miss on. But I already have my team set. I think I should be fine. And then for GQ, I have Yuha. I don't need this guy. Ranged hollow, maybe, because I believe it's 7th anniversary Ichigo or Okiyora, if I'm not mistaken, so yeah, uh, but this is the filler, literally every single character here is essentially garbage, except Aizen is a pretty cool link, that's about it, I'm going to quickly go over their kits, uh, this is the banner format if you guys don't remember, every 5 steps you get a guaranteed 5 star, uh, right here, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, step 1, 6, 11, 16, and 21 are 150 orbs. 2, 7, 12, 17, and 22 are 200 orbs. Uh, and then at the step 25, you get a choose a character 6-star ticket. So, yeah. Uh, nothing too new. Just had to go over it. But, uh, yeah, this is the banner. It's the Izuru. Never use this character. Mainly just a uh, PvP link. Normal uh, damage taken minus 20%. Weakening in all his abilities, Berserker plus 40, Bruiser plus 30, Debilitator 5, Flurry plus 1, Last Ditch, Poise, and Spiritual plus 1. He hasn't even resurrected, so like, I don't, I, I just don't see any use in him. Uh, it's whatever. He looks cool though. I, I genuinely do think he looks really cool, but other than that, just no use. Same thing with Chojiro, just a really outdated character. He has Paralysis on all of his abilities. Uh, he's a kid... 
what is this? Uh, I, I want to say it's Captain, but I think I don't think it's is it Squad Zero. Maybe it's Captain. I actually can't remember. I'm not gonna lie. Toshro, where are you? Oh, it did. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it is Captain. It is Captain. Could not remember what that is for the life of me. Uh, he has Berserker of 20, Bruiser of 20, Damage of Paralyzed Enemies plus 20, Debilitator of 5 seconds, Devastation plus 40, uh, Frenzy plus 1, Havoc plus 20, and Sprinter plus 1. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Yamamoto. He looks cool. I like this. Like this little like black slashes. Looks really cool. Uh, but he is a no affiliation killer. Burn on all of his strong attacks. Berserker of 20, Bruiser of 20. As you can see like... Power creep has been set, okay? This char these characters are not doing that much. Uh, damage to burning enemies plus 20, debilitator plus 2, devastation plus 40, only a frenzy of 1, havoc plus 20, and sprinter plus 1. Jugram, uh, if you get him max transcended, I think he could be usable. Uh, but other than that, he is a PvP character and is essentially just a link until he gets resurrected. And I honestly hope they actually do his resurrection really well. And then they make an SP based Jugram that is actually broken. I do not want another. Uh, a nad character for jugram I, I really don't really do not scuff him because i would like the quincy's to be some of the best characters in the game which is why i like kang do kang do is really cool it's probably his only characters that are going to get so i understand why they gave him such a broken character uh same thing with uh eburn he has a really good character got a shaft uh, he's kind of like a shafted character he didn't really do that much but they gave him the highlight and he got an insane character quilgy i don't know if he'll ever get another quilgy wouldn't mind it because of his transformation with uh the animal i forgot his name uh the animal that he like fuses with from the tres bestias but a really good character and deserved uh so the characters that are going to be getting ones later down the line kind of got shafted on their kits but now we're getting more of them but the characters that have one-offs are doing very well kind of a weird approach but i think for the fans that like those niche characters i i, I think they're happy uh and then once we get our broken characters like a broken uh, as not in like six months time or something i think those people will be very happy i think that's what caleb is trying to do uh now we have bambietta you get her for the art that's what i'll say you get her for the art really like the art i'm not gonna lie and then it's ichigo you get him for the art he's so cool i love him actually his his link isn't that bad it's not that bad. Obviously, you want damage taken more, but, like, it's a pretty good Brave Battle Link. Nothing, like, it's not the best, but it's definitely not bad. Uh, would rather flip it, obviously. Normal attack damage plus 12 versus the damage taken minus 20 would have been better. But, like, bro, he looks so cool. He looks so cool. Sometimes I just bring him in point event, and I just watch him shoot his red and blue bla blasters everywhere. He looks so sick. So, if you want to go for this character, I guess. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's just... To, I, to, to, to round it all off, art looks amazing. Kang Du is exceptional, probably top one in the entire game. Best speed character. Uh, Toshiro is an amazing GQ character, but he's GQ character, and he's a nag character, so I'm never going to use him ever. Uh, filler, garbage. Kang Du, uh, let me go to the individuals actually, because I brought it up. Because this is the individual. Uh, Akon, Sajin, great. Izuru, I think, is a drop of character, or just completely useless, so unfortunate. It'll be here on the 15th. Uh, and then this one. Actually, isn't too bad. The filler isn't too bad, actually. Ishin's a great berry battle character. Konami, I believe, is just a link. 20% DR link. And Momo is a uh, link slot potion link. So if you only want one of them, just go for the individual, to be honest. I would not go past 10 steps because there's no guaranteed 5-star pass then. Uh, so max it, I'll go with 10 steps. But yeah, so great art, great visuals. Uh, Kang Du is insane. Best speed character in the game. Uh, and I like that they gave Kang Du some representation in the game and made him one of the best characters in the entire game. I really like it. But other than that, I just don't think it's worth... You maybe go on the individual if you want to, but I will be skipping. Uh, I got talked out of it by a bunch of people that just kept talking about it and making some good points. And I was like, yeah. Because, like, what we're going to end up getting is Grammy versus Kenpachi. The the, ba the Bambietta girls. You know, the, the, the Bambi girl uh, squad. Uh, maybe a new Ichigo or something. Uh, maybe uh, Owetsu and uh, Tenjiro, I believe his name, or is it? I think it's Tenjiro. I can't remember honestly. Got the toothpick. Uh, maybe Jugram as well. Uh, the shoe sh shoe like Askin, Gerard, Pernida, uh, Lil. What's this? Lily Baro. I almost said Lily Net. <laughs> Lily Net. Lil Toto. Lily Baro. <laughs> okay, it likes Lily, I guess. Uh, there's just so many fights, you know. 
there's just too many to choose from. I would rather save my orbs for a more hype banner. Because, like, I don't mind King Dew. He's cool. He's, he's alright. Toshiro is really cool, but we have a cooler Toshiro coming down the line. Zombie Toshiro. It's only zombie form I actually like. But, uh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. And then, like, Shinji. Uh. Renji. Mask. James. The goat. The goat. Either way. Yeah. That's just, uh, that's just my take on it. Let me know down below if you guys are going to be summoning. If you do, best of luck. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Join the Discord down below. And peace out.